This is the painting that turned Jasmine Green's passion for art into activism. She says the piece called Lazy Bones stems from her experience as a black woman in a corporate environment. That that's natural for you to work yourself to the bone. If I wasn't able to give 200% that I was being perceived as lazy. She says the skeleton of the woman's face as she sits with her laptop shows she's working to the point of death, but perceived as being lazy or undeserving of rest. Jasmine says she felt as if she had no room for error or advancement. So she used her art as an outlet. It's hard to put into words like what that frustration is, that no matter what you do, it's never going to be enough, and that if you're not working yourself to the bone, then people are not going to recognize your work. Jasmine tackles issues facing the community and the country, like the COVID-19 pandemic. She wants everyone to know there's a chance to grow and overcome, even during dark times. That's why she calls this painting Bloom. No matter how dark and depressing things might feel for a moment that we can still find things that make life worth living for, make life meaningful. She wants the community to look at her vibrant visions and feel hopeful. It was this piece that I really wanted to talk about where it's talking about um, like beauty in bad times. Jasmine doesn't shy away from illustrating bad times. Safe and Sound pays homage to people like a seven-year-old girl who was sleeping and killed by police during a raid in Detroit. And it's this piece that's talking about um, Breonna Taylor and Ayanna Stanley Jones and is questioning, you know, is being at home synonymous with being safe and sound? In Jasmine's artwork, she also focuses on the life, not the death, of others like Trayvon Martin and Antoine Rose. With this week's community champion, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. <laughs>